ships traveled around the world, they would actually hire a very important artist of the port that they were going to. So they could actually show people, oh, see that? You know, that's where we were, and I had the port that portrait done by a really well-known artist in London. And and so uh, that was the way, that was bragging rights. And uh, so a lot of times, that's where a lot of the paintings were done all over and the ships were traveling all over. Think of the railing industry eventually, but um, and just think of all the maritime trade. You know, how did they get here in the first place? So, you know, that's how these ship paintings came about. That one is really exciting because not only is it a ship painting, it's artistically incredibly successful. It's dramatic in the size of the ship compared to the size of the piece of paper. It's, it's really dramatic. I mean, they were really proud of it. And so when that captain hired that particular artist, that probably was his style. Unfortunately, it's not signed. We don't know who did. But one of the nice things we get to do is we sold that painting. Uh, my father and I sold that painting probably 30, 35 years ago. We just bought it back from the people we sold it to. So it recycles. It better not. It's older. <laughs> Uh, no. 